An economic crisis has many manifestations, from financial industry effects such as price crashes when it comes to stocks and other assets, to effects in the quote-unquote real world such as unemployment spikes and GDP contraction. However, once a recovery starts to at least timidly shape up, an important question arises. Should it be trusted? While we can never know for sure, common sense gets us far enough. Simply put, it's all a matter of looking at the structure of the recovery and understanding that sometimes there is a disconnect between asset prices and the real world. Let's envision an extreme example and assume that country A's economic activity has stopped due to fear. Businesses went bankrupt, individuals stopped consuming. Initially, country A's stock market collapsed as well, but the central bank quickly promised that it would start printing money and using it to buy shares so as to help the market. All of a sudden, share prices soar for a wide range of reasons such as 1. Investors who were thinking about selling are now more confident and decide to hold, leading to less pressure on the supply side. And 2. Other investors decide to buy for reasons which range from defense mode ones, such as protecting themselves against currency devaluation, to offense mode ones, such as speculatively quote-unquote betting on a major recovery, both of which lead to increased demand. This can happen well before the central bank even printed its first additional unit of currency because the market anticipates asset price increases. But what about the real world? A business cannot take anticipation to the bank or use it to pay employees. The same way, while optimism can lead to individuals consuming more, it cannot make an insolvent consumer solvent. As such, a central bank announcement alone isn't nearly as effective when it comes to the real economy, and the same principle applies to other measures. A straightforward conclusion therefore arises. Wall Street and Main Street aren't always governed by the same set of principles, and as such, no, asset price recoveries don't necessarily lead to economic recoveries.